If I asked you to think of a legendary rock star, you might think of somebody like Ronnie Wood, or you might think of somebody like Ozzy Osbourne. But if you want to get really up close and personal and start jamming in the kitchen with a true legend, I suggest you get acquainted with this bad boy here. Now, born in 1868, would you believe it, Tabasco's even older than Mick Jagger. And I'm gonna use it today in an awesome recipe, which is called jambalaya. I've got all sorts of awesome ingredients for this jambalaya, but the first thing I'm gonna deal with is the chicken thighs. Now, jambalaya comes from Louisiana originally, and if you were in the bayou area of Louisiana, which was the poorer area, then that is where you might be cooking a jambalaya. And back in the day, because it was a poor area, they basically put anything in here. So if you were unlucky enough to be a little animal walking down the road one day when one of these Cajuns walked by, then you might end up in the pot, even if you're a skunk. Now, fortunately today, I'm using some chicken thighs and I'm gonna be using some chorizo, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Now, chop up the chicken thighs into little slices like that, and then I'm gonna fry them off in a little bit of olive oil, about two teaspoons of olive oil. Get them straight in the pan, like so, on about a medium high heat. While that's cooking, I'm gonna get 300 milliliters of water, and I'm just gonna get that boiling, and I'm gonna put in my other ingredient here, which is half a chicken stock pot, and that's gonna flavor our jambalaya later. Right, while that chicken's browning off, we're gonna deal with the rest of the vegetables. Now, get a new chopping board to go on raw chicken and give your knife a quick clean as well. Now, we're gonna chop up some onion, because that's the next thing that's going into the pan. Next up, clove of garlic. Next up, we've got a green pepper. And then lastly, I'm just going to chop up my parsley really nice and finely. Once the chicken has browned off, we're going to start adding a few different flavours. Now, this isn't exactly traditional, but I want to put a little bit of orange zest in so it, give it a really zingy flavour. I don't know, it just deserves something sweet in it. So, just zest in a little bit of orange like that. I'd say literally a little pinch of it so it's about a quarter of a teaspoon and then I'm going to chop up a little bit of the orange as well just chop it in half chop it in half again I'm going to take a quarter of it and I'm just going to put that juice into the pan as well a bit of honey goes into the pan as well I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of honey, like so, and then just give the pan a little toss. Whoa. And once they're really nicely coated, I'm literally just gonna put them into a bowl, and then smells incredible, I can tell you. <laughs> that smells amazing. Put the pan back on the hob, and we're gonna go straight into that pan with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm gonna put in my onions. So just put the onions in like so. We are gonna turn that down to a medium heat. And you just wanna stew those onions off for a couple of minutes. So once the onions are nicely softened up, then we're gonna put in some green pepper that we chopped up earlier, and that garlic that we chopped up as well. And we're just gonna let that sweat off for about five minutes. Now, the other thing that we also wanna put into the pan to give it some really good flavor is some chorizo. Now, I'm using some sliced chorizo, but you can use cubed chorizo, it makes no difference, all the same flavor. All we're gonna do is just shred this up nice and finely, like so. Doesn't need to be too delicate because this isn't a really delicate dish. It's just really good and hearty. So, stick your chorizo into the pan, like so. 
Stir that around. Before we move on to the next step, we are gonna just season this with a good pinch of salt. And when I say a good pinch of salt, I'm talking about a few fingers like that, not just a little pinch like that. And that's gonna give it some good seasoning. Then I'm gonna put in some tomatoes, one tin of tomatoes, just stick it straight into the pan. Gonna stick my rice into the pan as well. 200 grams of rice, 300 milliliters of stock. Gonna put my chicken back in as well. And now, that's when we start pimping it out with our Tabasco. So you can put in basically as much as you dare. If you wanna put in loads, you can. But if you're not feeling so brave, you can put in a little bit less. <laughs> but I'm gonna put in loads, because I like it spicy. So give that a good shake like so. And then, I am gonna put a lid on it, and the lid's gonna stand for 10 minutes, low heat, then we're gonna take it off for 10 minutes, just to kind of finish it off and take a little bit of that liquid out, and then we're done. Test it for seasoning to make sure you've got enough salt. Add a bit more if you need to, mine's pretty good. Then I'm gonna add in some chopped parsley, like so. Give it a good stir, get all of that parsley into it, and then we are good to serve it. So let's just literally spoon it into a plate, like so really good healthy portion a little bit more and then i'm just going to finish it off with a little bit more orange juice just over the top like that just squeeze that bit of orange on there little sprinkle of parsley and then that is your finished legendary tabasco jambalaya rock on